official misconduct and I are here at the Jeffersonville City Hall because today is the City Council meeting. The public City Council meeting open to the public. And we have been watching people at the door go up and have to have a key code or a key card, some type of key to get in, which is what we're about to go see if they're going to try to pull that shit. If the doors are locked to a public meeting, that's a problem. We're about to find out. Is there a personal reason you don't want me to have that body camera footage for the kids? Explain to you in the email what my position is. But you're trying to charge me the maximum rate. Why are you doing that? I'm going to be here. I'm going to be all the way up here ass too. So people have been using that key code box. How do we get in? We need in. <laughs> Thank you. The door's locked. Thank you, sir. So early. Yeah, they did. They locked it out. I had to use my code to get in. I was wondering. Yeah, I guess they don't want the public here. <laughs> it's a public meeting, isn't it? Are you a civilian or you work for? I'm city council. I'm Donnie Croft. Mr. Crofts, I'm Chris. Chris. Nice to meet you. Yes, this is Tiffany. Tiffany, my pleasure, man. Yep. We want to uh, speak today. Is there uh, something that we need to sign or yeah, fill out? Mm -hmm. Sure. Thank you. I like you. Yep. I like your jacket, buddy. Thank you. Sorry, I wasn't trying to yell at you there. I just couldn't know if you could hear me through the door. Yeah, the door's locked out there. Nobody can get in. I'll let them in. Right here. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. Uh -huh. Appreciate Tiffany. that. Right there, buddy. Let me set this right here. I need that. Uh, latitude and longitude. Just open it to the page the pin's at. <laughs> Seven, seven years ago, I had to live with that one. 
You were a realtor, so you probably did that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sign for the last one. We should call me. Oh, the cool that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you have yours. You get to look and see where it's where it's at. Uh, and then you're all doing today. Huh? Good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
keep it in the family. I just mentioned nepotism. I don't think they realize. Well, and then not only that, I got to witness their signature, so. I heard you mention nepotism. Is that uh, something that you're checking for prior to starting council meetings? We do, no, we do that uh, first meeting every month or every year, January every year. There's a state and local nepotism letters I have them signed. Is that just to ensure that there's not conflict of interest? Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. We changed seats because we learned that somebody was going to be sitting in the chair right in front of us. I want to make sure we got a full view of everybody throughout this meeting including this conduct here. She's easy to look at. I'm short. <laughs> She's easy to look at. You gotta look down a little bit. Oh, I do. I'm 6'2", so. Did you have a little How they, um, how the city of Jeff acquired the property that's being discussed tonight? Any of y'all know? That was a private property before the city started doing anything with it, wasn't it, Jeff Boat? Jeff Boat. Is that what's being discussed today? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We saw that commercial property, and the only one I know of that they're developing or talking about developing is the Jeff Boat there, or it used to be. No, this is for the, uh, really the city has no say in the Jeff Boat. Property they can get into it. We've been having meetings that say CBL. Mm -hmm. Kristen, how are you? Are you sure that that's not an invoice? Let's get your head shot, Donnie. Yeah, we got it done. Oh man, I'm glad to see it wasn't the other kind of head shooting. <laughs> yeah, this the only place I haven't been shot in my life. Okay, I didn't know which one they were talking about. Scotty's here. He might be afraid to come in since he knows we're here. What do you think? Well, if you're going to speak on it, you need to let her know. That is way too big for you to be carrying, Matt. <laughs> Matt, I want just a little, little dude, little bitty buddy. He's carrying that flag three times taller than him. I should have went and helped him. <laughs> you should have. So she's reading the addendum for today, and um, they're discussing, I guess, properties. I don't know, but um, this it says Ms. Metcalf stated there is one hand carry claim, a credit in the amount of one hundred and forty nine dollars ninety nine cents from vehicle maintenance for the return on a digital oil control. 
bringing the total to $802,225.02. Say that number one more time. $802,225.02. Yeah, big money we're talking about here tonight. And we're not up to date on knowing what this discussion is. I wouldn't mind if you want me to. I just want you to make sure. Oh, about the agenda. No, we don't know nothing about it, so it wouldn't be wise. <laughs> well, I just. I thought you were asking if I wanted to speak before you all went over the agenda. Oh, no, no. They'll it's at the end, right? They approved it, yes, right down here where it says public comment. Gotcha. It's at the end of the agenda. You just don't want to miss anybody before an agenda item. That's no That's problem. My pet peeve. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're doing a good job keeping it organized. Official misconduct is pointing this out to me. Three million dollars. Three and a half million. Just for tonight. I just have one public comment sheet out there. If we're expecting more, I'm going to put more out. Okay. Did you guys get the doors unlocked in case people did want to come make? They were locked when we came up. Yeah, but it unlocks at 6.30. Weren't you here before 6.30? Yeah, we, like I said, it was locked. That's why I'm... He said they auto -unlocked. Oh, it auto does? Okay. We weren't sure. We just <laughs> wanted to make sure it was open for people. Now that Scotty's sheriff, he can't, is he not on the council no more? I figured that was a big conflict. So who replaced him? What's his name? Scott Anderson. Anderson, thank you. Yeah, so Lisa did that right. Uh, he's been doing it as the uh, deputy of the chief the whole time. But, I'm just looking for you. She does her job well. Yeah. Mine's not as professional as yours, man. <laughs> How do I get the upgrade? <laughs> I like Donnie. Yeah, he comes in dressed like a human. Yes. Lisa, I told them they're going to come sit. 
<laughs> so we've got the uh, so the scouts or the Boy Scouts coming in. They're going to kick the meeting off. Not sure what it's about, but I think it's adorable to let the kids be included. Uh, hopefully they'll bring civics back to schools. As people don't understand politics at all. That's a damn shame. Look. Good. <laughs> What's up, trash can man? How you doing? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Larry Walter. Hey, we were just watching a video on a case you did good job on, bud. What are you doing, Dustin? <laughs> you You did a good job on that Draper case. I'm kind of wondering why Larry Wilder is sitting as the attorney for this council when he was told specifically by the Supreme Court that he ain't supposed to be doing that. At least that's what the record says. The record says that he agreed to not do anything for the city or state, and he represents clients all the time against the state. He was the attorney that did the Jared Draper case that I'm getting ready to do a video on. And he won. He got a settlement from it. But the question is, why are you playing both sides? Conflict. This is adorable, guys. The, uh, the kid scouts are here to kick the meeting off. It's awesome. We got a full room, y'all. Oh, here. It's a full, full meeting, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you figured it out. It's like the class clown. <laughs> right. Let's have these guys in the room. You guys in the car. They're definitely dense. Happy wife. Happy guy in the room. Catching that, staring at me on the nose. Give me the little stink eye. Yeah, you're in the rock. Right, right, right. 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 Right
of the Jeffersonville Common Council. It is Monday, February 6th. If everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm sorry, stand for an invitation led by Councilman Ellis, and then we'll have a special presentation for the Pledge of Allegiance. Our most gracious and loving God, we thank you for the opportunity to come once again to serve you and to be of service to the people of Jeffersonville. Grant that our hearts and our minds are in the right place. Grant that we think what be it the will of God. And may we serve with joy and pleasure in your name, precious Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 At this time, I would invite <coughs> Councilman Hawkins to invite uh, his guests up to lead us in the pledge. This is awesome. So I got contacted by someone in our community, Mr. Alston, wanted to know these young people are doing, uh, doing uh, uh, requirements to get different levels and what they do. So I'm going to let them tell who they are. So maybe we can get some quick names at the at the end. What's your name? Ethan. Ethan Sterling Prentice. Very good. And then Jesse Austin. Um, Lee Lee Stickler. Caleb David Shavonis. Um, Olin Earhart Bates. And Ian Brooks. Very good. And they are part of what pack are you guys part of? Very good. And so they're here tonight to learn about municipal government and to be able to lead us in the pledge, which I'm sure they'll do a great job. So let's turn and face the plan. And whoever wants to start, just get started. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Born and free born. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Do I have a roll call, please? Councilperson White? Present. Councilperson Byrne? Here. Councilperson Harris? Here. Councilperson Anderson? Here. Councilperson Cross? Here. Councilperson Webb? Here. Council President Owen? Here. Council Vice President Hawkins? <coughs> Here. <laughs> Regular proceedings of January 17th. Motion to approve. Second. Motion, Mr. Burns. Second, Mr. Croft. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. We have the approval of the agenda. Motion to approve. Second. Motion, Mr. Burns. Second, Mr. Anderson. Anything else? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. We have claims to be approved. Civil City claims that tonight are three million two hundred seventeen thousand one hundred ninety-six dollars and seventy-eight cents. Yes, um, Looks like just north of one point one million of that is <coughs> fire truck payments that we knew were going to be coming in twenty twenty-three. That's for two bumper trucks, correct? Mm -hmm. um, and then also we've got almost six hundred thousand five hundred eighty thousand in community crossings grant money. Uh, that is being that's a pass through is that correct from prior conferences yes. that's for uh road repair and construction right mm -hmm. that's uh and then we have um 620 and some change <coughs> for insurance so yeah. it's a big number tonight but uh, nothing out of the ordinary motion to approve second motion mr burns second mr white anything else all in favor say aye all right um, sorry, parts, 174,109 and 50 cents. Yes, I don't think it's. Motion to approve. Second. Motion, Mr. Parrish. Second, Mr. Anderson. Anything else? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. Before the clerk. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go to unfinished business with Ms. Metcalf. These are going to be public hearings. <coughs> 23 OR1 is the ordinance additional appropriation out of the, uh, for the police and fire pension. I know pages. Pass on the first and second reading prior. Uh, this time we're going to open a public hearing. If there's anybody to speak for or against the ordinance, please step forward. 
Ms. Gill, did anybody submit any comments to the there's clerk's no, office? There's no comments submitted to the clerk's office. Seeing none, we'll close the public hearing. Approve on the third and final reading. Second, motion Mr. Burns and a second for Mr. Anderson for the third and final. Anything else? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. That concludes the uh, all items of the new cases. Attorney Connor, Mr. Wilder. The only thing I would say is it's gotten expensive to get entertainment from when we had Trace Atkins down there in 2001 for 25 grand. <laughs> 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 what happened to the price of entertainment? Oh. I think I haven't paid the tickets. What is it? Right Thank you, sir. Mr. Merkley? No. All right. Uh, department heads? Mr. Reichel? I just wanted to let the council know that I'm getting uh, close to having a draft document of the uh, comprehensive plan that we've been working on. Uh, since my office has been a little short staffed, we're a little maybe behind schedule, but I wanted to uh, see. Uh, Matt had an idea that maybe a few of you and I could sit down and kind of go through that document outside of a council meeting, um, sort of a city, small city council task force. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, feel free to contact me and we can uh, look at to see about a time where we can set that up. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, sir. Uh, I have a special privilege off the Chief, record. Mm -hmm. Chief, in the back of the room. I'm good, sir. Thanks for the fire trucks. Mr. Norton. No, thank you. Thanks for the pool, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm missing anybody else. Any other department heads back there that's not here? All right, we're going to go to public comment. I have Chris. We want to speak on 2020 OR67. Chris, uh, welcome. Just Thank so you. you know, we do ask everybody that comes to the podium to just give your name and address for the record, and Here's. we'll have three minutes that will be clocked by Mr. Wilder. There you go. My name is Chris, and my address will be awful hard to give you. It's a piece of property. I gave you the latitude and longitude on that paper. I want to talk about an ordinance that you guys did in 2020. It's actually a question. I don't think that you all intended on doing with this ordinance how it's being used now. So it refers to body camera footage for the Jeffersonville City Police Department. And when I read through the minutes, it said basically that was revolved around accidents, like traffic accidents. But when I try to request body camera footage for other incidents, now they're referring to this ordinance and trying to charge maximum rate. So my question is, was that the intention, like from the council originally, or was it specifically for traffic accidents? I'm referring to uh, 2020 OR 67. Well, traffic accidents would obviously trump anything else because there's so many more of them. But my understanding was uh, any, any incident incident where body camera footage was used would be attainable. That's how I understood it. Well, I could be wrong, but that's what I remember. I'm being told now, sir, that what's happening is that they're allowed to charge maximum rate for the state, which is $150 per anything. So it's the maximum charge for any body camera footage. And then when I ask about it, they're referencing this ordinance. So my question is, is that intentional? I mean, to answer your question, I think we probably need the opportunity to review the ordinance and uh, you know, review the minutes from the meeting that transpired probably close to a little over two years ago. I think that was towards the end of the year. So yeah, I can tell if people aren't really remembering it here. 67 would be towards the end of the year. So uh, you know, we could review that. Uh, have, have you spoke with the administration about it? Service? Yeah, I have. I've okay. spoken with the legal department for the city too, okay. and they're pretty hard set on just charging maximum rate, okay. which that's, you know, not everybody can afford that. Okay. Like I'm asking for 15 minutes of footage, and they're requesting $300 minimum, okay. which is the most the state can charge. You know, it's the most that could be charged in the state for body camera footage. And it's just an incident regarding my children. 
I only want the footage. I don't want to have to spend three hundred dollars, you know. And I don't think that's what the council intended when they created this ordinance. I just I'm concerned with maybe the funding is being abused potentially. I don't know. That's why I wanted to address it with you guys here tonight so you knew what was happening. What's happening is they're overcharging for body camera footage. So, and that was my only concern tonight. So, I'll just say this. It seems that if it's public record, that uh, that's a pretty steep fee. Yes, sir. For, so, for, for, for the record, I've communicated uh, with this gentleman by email and explained uh, the administration's position. So I would just say, looking at the ordinance, it appears that it states simply that uh, body-worn camera can be obtained, and of course the only way it would be obtained is, you know, Mr. Croft, is if there's an ongoing criminal investigation, because that's not public record, yes, so sir. it's not a matter of it being investigated, and I will say that, I don't know where Mr. Merkley, unless it's two different body-worn cameras, that it indicates the set amount for the direct cost of copy of body camera video shall not exceed one hundred fifty dollars. So I mean, I don't know what. I'm not going to get into being this right here. So. Oh, well, I'm just, I'm just saying. Certainly, it's body worn camera. And certainly, there's one hundred fifty dollar cost that can be assessed. Not to exceed. Not to exceed. And but I yet, say, so it's within the ordinance. It's within the ordinance, and I've paid. I've paid that much. For civil cases, when I need mean body worn cameras, it wasn't a part of a criminal case. Your wallet's a lot bigger than mine, Larry. So, <laughs> well, the thing I, I is, I just. Charge me. I'm just trying to get a little bit of footage for an incident that regarding my kids. And I don't have $300 to spend on, what was it, 20 minutes total? Yes, it's from two cameras, but it's necessary because there were two officers that were involved in the incident. But it wouldn't take that much to redact it, if it even needs it. And I've given a timestamp directly for that that footage. Like it should be really simple. I download video MP4 all the time. Ten minutes. That's all it's going to take. So I don't know why there's an argument. I don't think it should be maximum fee. It just doesn't make sense. That's a lack of transparency, sir. I'm done. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, President Owen. I'd like to begin, as I always do, by saying all lives matter. And I want to wish a happy birthday. Mr. Rupert, just here for the record, your name and address, sir. Oh, excuse me. James Armacourt, Jr., 1006, Hayes Wood Court in Clarksville, Indiana. I'd like to wish a happy birthday to the greatest president of the 20th century, Ronald Reagan. <clears throat> and in his words, uh, during his acceptance speech in 1976, Republican convention, I believe the Republican Party should hold up a banner of bold and unmistakable colors, no pale pastels. You gentlemen all know who I am. <clears throat> you all know what I stand for. You all know that I've never shied away from any conflict or question when personal liberty or the right of the citizens of the state of Indiana have been brought to question. I can continue to continue that and I will be carrying forward that banner of bold colors that Ronald Reagan encouraged us all to carry forward. I encourage the members of this council to carry that banner forward also, always to let people know where you stand on the issue, what you stand for. And when evil things are being done, like our children are being groomed in some schools across the state, things like that, they have to be stood up against what say this is evil. We must stop it. I greatly appreciate you all, gentlemen, your time, your efforts, your work. I appreciate the work of all the members of the staff in the city of Jeffersonville. Thank you all very much for your time. Let's go, Brandon. Thank you, sir. That is our uh, public comment list for the evening. Council comments, Mr. White. No comment. Mr. Burns. No comment. Mr. Paris. No comment. Mr. Anderson. No comment. Mr. Crawford? I have nothing. Mr. Webb? No comment. Mr. Hawkins? No comment. 
Mr. Ellis. I let Brandon go a long time ago. <laughs> 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 Few things. Who is Brandon? I don't know. Few things. Uh, we got an invite to the AIM Legislative Dinner, uh, which is put on by Accelerate Indiana Municipalities, which we're a member of. Um, the council is a member of. And that is going to be on Wednesday, March the 8th at 6 30 in Indianapolis. Less to it. If you would like to attend or consider attending, it's a great opportunity to get to Indianapolis to. Uh, see your state legislate our state legislators uh, and talk about some of the issues that they're working on up there and you how know, that corresponds to what we're working on down here. If you'd like uh, put together a work group to talk about how we're going to address the uh, shortfall in the budget due to the uh, how the county has changed what we're going to get in allocation. Um, if there's anybody that wants to volunteer for that, please let me know so we can get that group together. Uh, also, as, Chad, as Mr. Reichen mentioned, uh, we want to put together a, a work group for the comp plan update. Our next council meeting is scheduled uh, would be our president's day, so we're going to meet on the Tuesday following. We have all of that advertised. Yes. For, we're going to advertise for Tuesday, um, our second meeting in February. Did we advertise for changing meetings up prior to election day in both cases? We're going to, we're going to do that instead of meeting on the Monday before election day. We'll meet the Wednesday after. Wednesday after I'll make that change. And explain. Both down. May and November. Yes. Perfect. Everybody's okay with that. I'm going to be exhausted. You're going to be exhausted. Have you noticed how the unopposed people can be can be happy? Yeah. Have you yeah. noticed that? And two judges walked in. So either Mr. White and I are in Tim. Or somebody got more so I, I'm, I'm asserting Mr. Berkeley is not in the council. You, young man, you're out on your own. I got my lawyer. President Owen, I did send your counsel the holiday schedule so he can have touch with one year. Gotcha. Thank you for that. You want your first client back there? Your honors? Would you, would you have anything you'd like to add? Who are you? <laughs> I don't recognize you unless you're in a black dress. We just wanted to show you guys some respect, so thanks for letting the show up. Who's the other guy with you? <laughs> you act like you're up. I don't know if everybody knows this is Judge Carrat. He's our circuit one judge now. Started January, but he's been around forever. So. What you know he's been around forever? <laughs> <laughs> it could be years. <laughs> if you ever want the best brown noser in town, call her. Has 19 new jobs at Kelsey. Take a motion to adjourn. We're adjourned. Don't I leave, I don't think. I haven't asked. Yeah, there's a lot of seats. So, sorry. Thank you for the time. Thank you. 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 Is that how you make your living there, brown nose them judges? Go brown nose, Larry. Stick your nose right up in that crack. Look at him. Unbiased, right? <laughs> Go over and do a hug. <laughs> you should. Is there a personal reason you don't want me to have that body camera footage for my kids? Sir? Is there a personal reason you don't want me to have that body camera footage for the kids? I explained to you in the email what my position But you're trying to charge me the maximum rate. Why are you doing that? Are you just non-transparent in general, or are you just doing it for my kids? You do care about the safety of children, don't you? All I need to do is keep my kids safe, man. Would you like it if someone charged you more than you could afford for something just to keep your kids safe, or do you even have kids? Ignoring me doesn't make it go away. And you're the, you're the attorney for the city, is that right? Just ignore me, huh? Can't ignore me forever. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be all the way up your ass, too.
Larry, how can you be the city's attorney after what happened to you a while back? Didn't you make an agreement not to do this? They're just going to ignore me. Maybe we should ask the judges. What? Oh, I'm not. It's I'm only focused on the two. Matter of fact, I'm gonna thank the rest. I'm even mad. It's okay. We wouldn't mind meeting your honors. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. This is Tiffany. Nice to meet you, Brad. Appreciate you serving the community, bud. You want to meet the new one? It's hard to hold all this without a handle. Thank you. Appreciate uh, you. I'm for the taxpayers, dude. Man, I'm telling you, I can tell. I was a policeman there 40 years. Do you understand why they might I, be doing that to me? No. I, it's not just you, obviously. Well, I think it was a little more, we like this guy. And, uh, I got a YouTube channel. Okay. And uh, we promote good government. I appreciate it. You know what I mean? Sure. So we we saw this dude was awesome right from the beginning. So we're uh, we're highly supportive of him. I'm glad I can help you. Well, man, to be honest with you, like I said, I'm not lying when I say it was a definite situation. It would help be helpful for my kids. Well, yeah. And they know me as being the guy that runs the YouTube channel that that does do stories on misconduct inside their government. Yeah. Well, what and are they going to do next? Start charging 150 dollars for accident reports? That's what they're doing. Oh, the report? No, well, I mean, the, the come footage on. for it. it. That's, you heard what I said. It's public record. I think they're doing Yes, sir. Yeah. I think what they're doing it for is because, you know, insurance pays in a lot of those circumstances. Yeah. So I can see how they passed it. But to be using it against anybody ordering any body camera footage. Actually, you know, insurance doesn't cover it because I have a claim. I have a lawsuit in the accident where the kid threw in And they don't pay for it? I had to pay for it. You have to they, pay for your they own. They just need to charge a minimum fee for their time and trouble. Right. And take care of the I don't mind payers. paying for when people do the work. Oh, I don't you know a, what I mean? I don't but, have $300 either, dude. Right, to be charging <laughs> 300 bucks for 15, 20 yeah. minutes of footage. Well, I'm, I'm going to, other than what Matt said, I'll find out more about it. Well, I appreciate I that. Can I give you my number? <laughs> sure. Uh, honey, can you write it down? Just write down my phone number and, and my email. Well, I'm going to file a lawsuit for what's going on because the kids got this. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not about the camera footage. I need the camera footage for all the information that's, you know, that's going to circulate around the situation. Yeah. Because it's been, it's been going on for like two years. Yeah, that's just too much money. Well, I'll tell you the whole story, but I'll do it real, real, real short. So this isn't going to give you enough information to understand it. But what happened was I was trespassing the Department of Child Services yeah. because we filed a lawsuit against them. That's how it all started. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they shut down on us. Well, then the kids needed them, and they refused to do anything for them because we filed a lawsuit, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So it's retaliation since then. They've been using the Jeffersonville City Police Department to retaliate against us by way of trespassing me just for going to do business for our kids. So what the footage is going to be is a third incident in which the police responded out there. Now, I've already been determined not to be trespassed, so I'm not trespassed. I'm part of the prosecutor. So I show up. Not trespassed again the third time, uh -huh. and police come and kick me out, manhandle me out of that building again. Well, just so stay I'll cool. try just to stay cool now. That's he said everything's going to be fine. You can go. You know, you don't need our assistance, whatever. And then 25 minutes later, Jackson pops in there yelling at me, saying, you're out of here. Craig Jackson? Uh, Sergeant. Big, big tall. No, you're talking about uh, Jason Jackson. That's it. Jason Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, he came in there and was ready to go. He had gloves on and everything. Ready to get rough with me. He can whip Tiffany. No, I know it. <laughs> yeah, I know it. He, know, he knows I know it too. <laughs> well, well, it's you know, a pleasure to meet you, Donnie. Cool. Thank it's you. It's always man. best to, to be cordial, be friendly. Yes. But uh, I'm going to stand up for the taxpayer whenever I. Thank it's, you, it's sir. Right. Appreciate I that. I mean, that's man. just too much money for something that's public record. If they want to charge an insurance company yet, that's fine, but right. not our tax money. Right. Bingo. I'll yeah. raise it. Well, you heard what I said. Yeah, you okay. did good, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you. I'll yeah. talk to you more. All right, so not everybody's correct.
<laughs> well, Larry just sticks that nose right straight in the judge's butts. This is how he does everything. He's never earned anything. He has always sucked his way in. He's a leech. No, it's for the camera. Well, I'm not worried about it. You ready to go? So that's how it worked. Um, there's everybody. And um, the dirty ones are the dirty ones, and some of them are not. A lot of them are not dirty. Um, we just met a really good council member. Really liked him. How you doing, buddy? Rick, that's an abnormally large amount of money to be charging Absolutely. for something that's, I mean, I'm not a key professional. I understand right. how... What I mean, I, I realize they're trying to charge you for like we have to actually go back and, and review the footage in case there's things right. that they need to redact. Ten minutes, right. but when minutes. it comes to if it was something that where there was no real redaction to it, it's copying a file. I mean, Bingo. people do that in their computers all day long. M3 takes five fours. seconds. Boom, you're done. What it is is that guy right there. I don't get along with Larry Wilder, and then the city attorney. <laughs> Yeah, there ain't many people who gets along with Larry Wilder unless yeah, they're in trouble. They're, 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 but uh, that's just one of those things that comes with uh, anything involving politics. But yeah, they are someone. trying to avoid me because I know how to take legal action, and it's necessary to do so for my well, kids. I, I, I appreciate that you, as a citizen, are trying to keep the government responsible because they work for us. That's, Absolutely, I will be running for public office not this year, but next year I'm going to run for okay. House Seat 71. The seat that Scott did not succeed in. in uh, Last Where's season, that basically. at? Jeffersonville, Clarksville. Okay. So All you're right. De you're definitely hey, look, you're, you're going to want to get a hold of me. You know who I am? It's, uh, it's I called I, I For think, Public Safety. I think, I think I've heard your name. Before. Okay, because that's that's the channel I run, and I hold government officials but accountable. I'm, I'm a big personal fan of auditors and, and other people. Who, I, there you I, are. I myself, as a citizen, as I believe that government works for us, they yep. response to us, we are their boss, not the other way around. It's exactly right. And I've said publicly, you can go back and look me up online when I was campaigning, with all my information is still all out there, um, that I'm a firm believer that we're responsible to, the, to our constituents, basically. Absolutely. And that's the way it needs to be. Yep. People need to be involved yes. in their government. Right. right. I was, I was remarkable, I came in here, all the seats were filled up. Yeah. That I've was been, surprising, I, wasn't it? Exactly. I come in here normally. <laughs> I'll be the person sitting there up front waiting to do my comments. The whole rest of the room is empty except <laughs> right. for people who work for the city. Well, we got here first. We were the very first James ones. R. McClure. That's oh, Mike, I've heard Charlie, of Charlie Charlie. Lima Uniform. Romeo Echo. Sorry if you're not ex-military. I'm taking your husband. Well, it's you, okay. you strike me as if you were. No, no, I'm not. Oh, okay. No, no I Junior. just have a whole bunch of appreciation for those who did. Well, I Fighting got my, for I got our my rights. all expense paid vacation to the petite Sam and the son. So. Oh, you're good there, huh? Good deal. I appreciate your service, sir. Did what everybody else that signed up did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's a lot, though. You yeah. know, you're fighting for our constitutional rights, man. A lot of people don't even know what they're thanking you for these days. Uh, that's one of those things, again, you talk about doing the audit thing. They go out there and talk, ask these, uh, like, policemen, are like, well, what are the five freedoms of the First Amendment? They're like, no, no, no. Like, Look, I bet this room wouldn't even know. I, bet, I believe these lawyers would know, but some of the Barry, there, there are a couple of they councilmen. Know what it a couple is, of the councilmen, maybe not. Scott, because he's a, he teaches history and stuff like that. He's right. Pretty good clue, well, you know, Maples was on the council. He don't know that from home again. <laughs> when well, it comes to you, the, you'll necessarily have to be very smart and very knowledgeable to get elected. But, right. Yeah, that was a rough one. Well, hey, man, look, uh, did you write down my yes. channel for uh, him? I didn't write down. I if uh, you got something to take notes with, I, I think you'll appreciate piece, it, especially piece, if you like the auditors. Piece, the piece of paper off the, off the, off the thing, I always scribble stuff down. That's what I've been writing my notes on. Just write down for, the word for, public safety. And you can look me up on any platform, and I should pop right up first. For public safety. Roger that. And his yes, email sir. is the same thing. Yeah, zero, zero four. four. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and I got that published on there too. So if you ever want no, to, I'll say if, if you're, if you're, I if think you're, we should stay in touch, man. I'll get signatures. Nice meeting you guys. You too, buddy. Thank you. I think there's a restroom around the corner. It's nice to meet you. Give us a shout. You too, buddy. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for hearing me in there. Yeah, appreciate no that, man. Have a good day. Yep, you too. How are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Holding you over late, aren't they? Oh, no, I just wait for the building to clear out and then I'm gone. As soon as she's done no, peeing, you'll be all you're, right. You're, 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 <laughs> see you. Good to see you, man. Have you ever heard of them doing it? Did you hear what I spoke about up there? I'm not familiar with all that stuff, man. The chart, I think it's personal, but if they're doing it to everybody, it's an issue. I mean, you're on the bottom. I don't deal with all that stuff. I just yeah.
But I mean, if you just were at an incident, you had your body cam on, and someone needed that footage for their own reasons, right? I don't know. It I shouldn't be. Thing, I don't know all that, how all that goes. I mean, well, that's how it goes. So you're wearing a body cam like I am right now. Mm -hmm. Let's say something happened in here, whatever, and it affected you. Mm -hmm. And then you reach out to me and say, hey, Chris, I know you had that body cam rolling, man. Uh, this thing rolled through and broke my foot. Can I get 10 minutes of that footage to I show what, what broke my foot? I if I, if I told you, well, I'm going to make it unobtainable, mm -hmm. that's the issue. You know what I'm saying? Not necessary, but we appreciate everything everybody does in their positions, but that's a problem, okay. you know. It's a problem within JPD. JPD is the ones that's arguing it. Well, you got to speak to the people today. Yeah, hopefully it goes somewhere. I know that the, uh, the attorneys don't fight very hard for, for rights. And, um, you know, we depend on that to happen by our police. Fight for our rights. That's what the oath is to. And you know, if if everybody stops doing it at some point, that's when we have a major problem. You know what I mean? I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Yep. And I've met lots of good constitutional police. Yeah. You know, very very good, respectful of the Constitution. Good. Even a couple from JPD. Good. Like to hear. So yeah, you seem like you could be one, Lyndon. <laughs> Lyndon, actually. Lyndon. 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 Okay. <laughs> Sorry, man. And I got a terrible accent Everyone's, on top of it. Everyone says it. You're, you're not the first. You know, I don't even pronounce my own name right. Really? Properly. Yeah, because of my accent. I mean, it's not that I, I misread it. Oh, no, you're good. But, like, when I say my own name, if you tried to spell it the way I said it, it would be, like, not right. You know gotcha. what I mean? Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's how a lot, especially when they got funky spellings, man. If it's oh. not a common name, yeah. you haven't heard someone else say that it. That one's not too bad. Yeah, it's, it's just not a common one. No, it's not. That's good. Separate you from the rest, man. <laughs> she can be timely with this kind of stuff. Yeah. It's a woman. There she yeah, is. I ended up being a conundrum trying to figure out how I was going to hold this and use the restroom because I took it in the stall. Was room. there no place to set it down? Well, I tried to squeeze it under the railing there and it just fell out. So it's like <laughs> that epic. And on the bathroom floor at that. Yes, yeah. I have to sanitize this. Yes. Hey, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. You have a good night, man. You too. Be safe. Have a good night. So we are leaving the council meeting. I don't know if it went well or not well, but I know it went. Uh, we got in the door. We were able to, I was able to speak. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but there were a few people who seemed concerned that were in the council positions that came up to us. So ultimately, hopefully, that at least raises awareness to some of the right people who are willing to fight corruption because we all know that's what's going on here corruption so official misconduct say goodbye night y'all we love you guys see you on the next one